Hi everyone, my name is Sam and today I'm going to introduce you to the new SkySiv drawing feature, which is a really exciting feature that's added to all of our professional user accounts um, that allows you to export really high quality and uh, accurate detailed DXF drawings of your structures automatically. Uh, so it's just saving a lot of time in the documentation part of the process, which can typically take a really long time, particularly in complex models and where there's changes to the models. Now you can instantly export these drawings in a matter of minutes. And uh, today we're gonna explore a few of the um, exports that you can do, uh, as well as some of the settings and features that we have included in this. And um, as you might already know, SkySiv is cloud-based, so it's automatically released to everyone. So there's nothing you have to do from your end. Uh, you should see that new feature come through under output drawings, and you can start using it right away. So we're very excited about this. Uh, and let me take you through a few of the features of our new drawing module. So I'm gonna start with a, quite a large structure. We've got this concrete tower <clears throat> and um, just show you some of the settings that you can implement within this drawing module. So you can see we've got, it supports both concrete and steel structures. So we know we have a lot of users that they are primarily on steel structures. Um, this concrete, sorry, this export drawings module does work for steel uh, structures as well as concrete, but we'll explore that in a, in a later um, model. But for now, we're gonna look at concrete. And we have some preset settings. So these are settings that basically uh, add in the reinforcement settings that might be required as per particular design standards. So we have Australian standards, we have the Colombian code and we have the American code as well supported. Um, if you do want to see more of these included, feel free to email us and we'll add them in. But for now, um, we'll just select uh, the Australian standard, which uh, because this model is metric. And this will override our uh, settings, and that's referring to these settings here in under reinforcement and stirrups. So you can really customize these as per how you need them. Um, so you can add in your reinforcement uh, information, as well as development length, lap slice length, or you can instantly populate these fields just by selecting one of these preset uh, settings. And then we also have some user RC data. So this is basically taken from our beam and column RC design module. So if this is empty, you might see that this is set to none and you don't have any options. All you need to do is launch our RC design module and add in some reinforcement for your beams and columns and run a check. Once you've done that, you can come back to the drawing module and you'll see that this is then available. So that's very important if you want to export your beams and columns um, with the reinforcement um, uh, detail in there as well. Otherwise, it'll just export the model. So if you have this set to none, it'll just export what it can see, which is just the concrete members, um, the floors and, and the levels that you have. So if you do want to export the beams and columns, let's make sure that you have some reinforcement data in there for us to, to export. So once I've selected that, I just hit export data or export DXF. And for a larger model, this might take a minute or two. Uh, so I'm going to skip ahead, this, this skip past this process and just show you the actual output. And what we get is a really detailed, start with the beams and columns, uh, profile of your beams and columns with the stirrups and reinforcement. You can see that just came through, so it took less than a minute. Uh, we have our columns here with the reinforcement data. And obviously all these settings are controllable from the drawing settings. So if you do um, you know, wanna change the development length or uh, offsets or anything like that, you can. Um, and, but it has automatically produced these drawings for me, uh, ready for documentation. So that this is the data that's taken from the RC design module. So it's important if you don't have that, um, you know, module, or if you haven't exported your data from that module, it won't come through this information. We'll see some of the other information that comes through. Um, we've got a really good uh, plan view of our columns and floors. So you can see automatically it's picked up the dimensions. Oops. And showing the um, different columns and beams, sorry, columns that we have there and the positioning. We also have information about our beams. So you can see where they are positioned, their uh, IDs and also um, any section information such as 500 mil by 500 mil. So. And then, um, yeah, so these are, these are all automatically set out. Um, this is just the drawing module that's exported these automatically for you. So they've also made, taken some cuts throughout the building. So you've got a side view, but um, fast forward, you can actually 
We'll, we'll look at a steel building now. We can show you how you can actually specify the grid lines and the elevations to customize your drawing for your needs. So that was under the automatic settings, but I'll show you now that how you can introduce grid lines and elevations to customize where you want the building um, profiles or, or plan views and uh, drawings to be displayed. So here we have another model. Um, we're gonna go through the same process of exporting the drawings. And in this case, it's a steel building. So we're gonna go steel. And these settings are common for both concrete and steel. So same way we're doing this with steel, you can do it for concrete as well. And we have plane selection options of automatic, which is what we did for that larger concrete structure. Or you can choose the grid lines. And this will use my user-defined grid lines to, to mark out where the drawings are gonna occur. I can also use uh, the trim the intersecting lines or use the original continuous lines, but in, where there's intersections, we want to typically trim those intersecting lines. So let's leave that setting on. And finally, you can um, determine which ones you want to draw. So like do, you, do, do you just want to do the horizontal or the vertical planes, plans? Sorry, Or it, it'll also pick up any inclined plans as well. So uh, if you have sort of an inclined structure, you can include this and it will pick up that that is an inclined um, sort of level and we will draw those as a plan view, um, specifying that they are inclined. And just to show you how I've implemented some of these grid lines to customize uh, the drawings a little bit, we'll go back to wireframe. And you can see I do have some grid lines here at the base and at the upper, upper level. So if I just go to tools, grid lines and elevations, I basically specified these um, in this module. So I've just added an elevation at zero and an elevation at 14.6, which is along those nodes. Um, I could also add in additional intersections if I wanted to, um, but for now, um, after playing with this model a little bit, I found that this is a, a, an ideal specification for my drawings. So I'm happy with where the grid lines are and go ahead and export those drawings. I don't need to use these uh, settings because this is just for the concrete and I'll use my grid lines, so my user-defined grid lines, and export that DXF. Again, just fast forwarding to the output. Um, we've got a really nice profile here of the side of the building, um, taking a few cuts, as well as the plan view. So it's able to handle really complex structures as well. You can see the beams and the columns have both been specified. So I've got that um, detailed view of what my beams and columns are, and this was the one that I specified at 14.6 meters in the Y direction. So yeah, you get a, a very good um, detailed output from there. I also have the one at zero just to show where my columns are and can pretty much export this directly into my drawings and, and ready for, um, for my final design. So feel free to start enjoying that feature. Um, and feel free to give any feedback that you have once you export it. There'll be an option just to provide some feedback. So feel free to give us your suggestions or things you'd like to see next, but really excited to, to release this to all of our users and hope you enjoy this uh, new drawings feature. Thank you.